in our culture, there's a certain Lakota star constellation that appears to be in the path of the sun. Um, and uh, the the constellation is um, it's shaped like a pipe. And uh, the pipe bowl part is the part that goes in the path of the sun. And this is signifying something. And at that time, it's uh, this is this is the time period where you go to uh, where there's willow trees, and you start. Um, there's a ceremony that you do, and a song that you sing before you, um, you know, take some willow bark, willow tree bark. It's a red willow bark, and and you you take. You know, you you have to give an offering too. You know, you, whenever you take something, you have to give something back, and uh, part of that includes a vow to, uh, you know, treat nature with respect, um, because you you're recognizing that you are a part of nature, and that uh, when you take from nature, you have to, you know, give a thanksgiving kind of thing. Yeah, we call that wopila. So people will do this, and some people will do this in different ways. Um, but the thing is, you're giving something of yourself. Yeah? And then you, you cut uh, as much red willow bark as you think you're going to need for the whole year. So usually it's going to be a lot. Yeah? And, um, and then um, during these times, you, you dry the red willow bark and... Um, and uh after a time you you um you start to um get ready yeah for uh what's coming next um you prepare your wood this is what you're gonna smoke in your pipe in our times we didn't we didn't have tobacco um and we didn't use tobacco in our pipes because for one thing the tobacco plants don't grow. In South Dakota, that grows in North Carolina, you know, around that the East Coast, and we didn't smoke that. Yeah, we used this red willow um, stuff, and um, so the you, this is this is what's going to go in your pipes. We don't use tobacco. We don't use Marlboros, and you know, because some people do that today. Yeah, they buy Marlboro uh, cigarettes, and then they they you know take off the wrapping so there's just that tobacco then they put that in the pipe and mix it with red willow this is not proper this is really not proper because that's that's not healthy yeah Marlboro is not healthy so this is but that's what they, people do today you just don't walk around you know uh, like you know how today people just you know smoke cigarettes at the drop of a dime yeah like every other you know, every other uh, uh, ten-minute interval, they got a new cigarette in their mouth, and they're going through t- three, four packs of cigarettes a day. Gee, many crackers! That's a lot of money, yeah. Holy man! Um, so this is um, this is uh, this is not what we did. We didn't. We you know we're not walking around with our pipes constantly smoking all the time. Because <laughs> for one thing, this is not a it's not a um, hallucinogen, yeah. It's not a um, uh, it's not a drug. It's it's uh, only done uh, at like say relaxation time, uh, meetings, and ceremonial. And so sometimes people will have a different pipe for each different of these three occasions, or sometimes people will just use the same pipe, but they'll use it differently in the three different occasions. Yeah, it just depends. Everybody has a different way, but it's you have three um, three um, different situations. And, and like I said, it's it's not something where people are walking around, you know, all day long smoking their pipes, you know. And there's no marijuana in there. There's no POD. There's no drugs of any kind of hallucinogenic nature in those pipes. It's red willow bark, and it's not to um, it's not done to, you know, get high or anything like that. 
So if you hear of somebody doing that, that's not traditional at all, and and this is actually an abomination of the of those um, plants. Yeah, that's using those plants in an unhealthy way. That's another story. Anyway, um, so this time of the year they're doing this and uh, you know, gathering all their red willow that they're going to use for the for the year until next year. And you see, some of some of this is not going to be smoke. Now, sometimes people will will give tobacco offerings. Now, it, this is really not. It's not. It's. I should shouldn't say that because it's not really tobacco. Yeah, it's chashasha. This is red willow bark, and they put this in like little bags, and and sometimes that's used to, uh, you know, for or parts of prayers, or it might be used for. You know, uh, hang, uh, um, what do you call it? It's a Thanksgiving thing, or uh, sometimes when you um, want want so, to ask somebody for advice, a special kind of advice, you take a a small bag of this chanshasha and you give it to them. That's that that is called obagi. When you when somebody asks you for help, and then if you make an agreement using this obagi. Um, that means you have to do what you say you're going to do, whatever it is. I'll give you an example of how somebody used this um, and didn't live up to their word. Yeah, there's a tribal councilman from um, uh, where I live on Shan River Sioux Reservation, and uh, he um, was a he re- he represented our district. And he's kind of a musician. He knew I had a recording studio. And so he wanted me to do some uh, music tracks to uh, four of his songs. And uh, then he was just going to come in and do the guitar work and sing. Okay? But I, 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 what I did is I put uh, everything down and I and just played it for him as a reference. And I said, I said, don't worry about the guitar parts. We said, we'll erase that. We'll put you in there instead. I said, because I'm just showing this to you for reference. And he really liked it. Uh, anyway, um, this be, I'm jumping the gun here. Before before that, he came to my house and he gave me some tobacco. And uh, and then he said, you know, I'm I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm this is opari. He said. I have a special question, a special request for you. So I said, okay. So I took the tobacco, and then we sat and talked, and and um, I he gave me a, a cassette tape of a rough, a rough draft of his songs, and uh, I said, okay. Um, uh, I said, you know, um, and he said, how much is gonna, how much is this gonna cost? And I said, well, it depends on how long I can, it's gonna take me to do it. I said, I. I just, um, you know, I charge a certain amount um, per hour, and then plus the tape is going to cost money, and you know the engineering and stuff that's going to all cost. And um, he said, "Okay, don't worry." I said, "I can pay for it." So I said, "Okay." So uh, it so happened that you know his songs were so short that I got done really fast, and um, and I wasn't dragging it out either. I wanted I wanted to do a good job for this guy, and. Um, and I got done quick, so I called him up. We set an appointment, and um, he listened to it, and then he he really liked it. Yeah, and he said, "Okay, so um, um, when can I come in and sing?" He said, and I said, "Well, I prefer that you would pay me first, so this way I know this is going to happen." Because um, I said, "Just if you just come in and do the recording, and then take off with the recordings, and say you're going to pay me later, how do I know you're really going to pay me?" Ah, uh, no problem," he said. And he's a tribal councilman, you know. Ten years ago, these guys made like fifty thousand dollars a year. Okay, that's a lot of money. And so um, I was expecting to get paid, and never paid me. To this day, he never paid me. And um, but I never um, took him in the studio either, yeah, because I, I I I knew this. I kind of knew. This was going to happen because this is how tribal politicians are. They're just the same as politicians everywhere in this Western world. Tribal government is not traditional whatsoever. Our traditional governments were wiped out in 1924 when Washington, D.C. issued this act saying we no longer recognize the traditional leaders 
And uh, instead, you know, we have this new government that we're going to give to all the tribes. And if you accept it, we'll help you quicker. If you don't accept it, then maybe we won't help you. So this pushed the tribes into into the corner, so to speak. And so reluctantly, tribes accepted this new government. So this new government is not traditional. It's coming from Washington, D.C. And this new government, what it essentially does is it divides the tribe into two opposing factions. And look at that. That's a duality. Yeah. And so it's turned families against each other. It's turned people who call themselves full bloods against those who are not full bloods. And and it, it just causes friction. If our leaders from our ancient times could come back and see this, I think that's the first thing they would do is get rid of the tribal council because they're going against their own people. They are not serving the people. They're going against them. Anyway, um, let me get back to what I was talking about earlier, that, or that what happens around this time of the year and that people um, do this thing with uh, gathering red willow bark. Yeah. So anyway... Um, like I said, you're going to use this red willow for not just smoking, but for asking for help, like this councilman did. Yeah, that he gave me this tobacco. See, me being a traditional person, when this tribal councilman that ripped me off, this corrupt one that I told you about, I should say one of the corrupt ones, um, he see he knew of this Obagi tradition, so he he gave me tobacco, then asked me this. So see, showing to me that he's going to do what he says he's going to do. Remember what I said. When you obagi somebody, when you when you want to ask somebody for help and you give them tobacco, and if they accept it, because the, you, you can turn it away. If somebody offers you tobacco, that doesn't mean you have to accept it. You can turn it away. Then he just has to go. You can ask somebody else. Huh? So, um, what... Uh, so since I accepted the tobacco from him, in our tradition, that means whatever he says he's going to do, he has to do it. And the same thing for me. I will do it too, whatever I say I'm going to do. So our agreement was I would do this recording work for him. His part of the agreement was he will pay for it. So I did my part and he didn't do his, which said to me, he was abusing this Obahi tradition. Yeah, he, he 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 was just doing this to make himself, you know, really he tried to try to impress me, that he's knowledgeable and stuff like this. But he didn't live up to it. He didn't do what he said he was going to do. He never did. So he violated that, that tradition. That's a sacred tradition, and he violated that. This is a tribal leader. He violated. This is a Lakota tribal leader who violated a Lakota tradition. Do you see what I mean? That That's just really blatantly obvious that these people they don't give a shit about culture or language. All they care about is money. This said a lot to me, that this is not a good man. He did not do what he said he was going to do. When you do this opahi thing, this is a binding thing. And if you violate that, that's going to come back to you in a very, very deadly way. That's our tradition. So this is, it's, he did it, he's, going, he's screwing himself over. I should say, he screwed himself over. By violating this tradition, he sent out an unhealthy energy. And that's going to come back to him four times as strong. Whatever you send out in your communication, it's going to come back to you four times as strong. No matter if it's healthy or unhealthy. It's, whatever it is, it's going to come back four times as strong. I'm just showing you what Obahi is. yeah, and That it's you don't do this. You know, like I don't go to somebody and give them a, a tobacco and say, okay, I'm up Obagi, you. can you take me to McDonald's? <laughs> you see what I mean? You, this, you, you, you only do this with, if it's really a serious and important thing that you're asking. 
like at a ceremony, if you're going before going into a sweat lodge ceremony and you have a special question you would like to ask, you bring a chonshasha, yeah, you bring that as an offering, and then you ask your question. You see, that's that's a sacred thing, but this councilman abused that. Yeah, that's opari. So that red willow is used for that. 